Hi everyone and welcome to today's video and first of all I have to say that this video was supposed to be online yesterday but I had so much trouble editing uh, because the video files were huge and my computer was like the slowest thing ever and it was such a nightmare so, but yeah uh, here I am today and you know um, I hope you guys like today's video, uh, and as you can see, it's going to be a fan art, a Star Wars fan art, and it's actually Rogue One. Um, I don't know if you can recognize these two guys, but they are supposed to be Chirrut, uh, yeah, Chirrut, and Baze from, you know, the newest uh, Star Wars movie, and they are uh, the monk and the warrior. And I just love these guys because, I don't know, it's like so interesting, you know, the blind monk and the peaceful warrior. I mean, like, um, Chirrut being blind and being a monk, you would assume that he's gonna be peaceful and he's gonna be a little bit defenseless, I guess. And he's like such an excellent warrior and he, uh, you know... The actual warrior, which is Baze, is like um, more down to earth, I guess, than uh, Chirrut. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. Um, and the beat with you know the I'm one with the force and the force is with me idea concerning Chirrut that was so cool. I don't know, I loved that. Uh, so yeah, I had to do a fun art of them, and here it is. Um, I used my uh, Kuretaku Japanese pens for the li uh, the line art, and I am working with my alcohol markers, uh, which means that I'm working with Copic and Pro Markers. Now, Copic is the the Japanese brand, and Pro Markers are British. Um, I love working with alcohol markers. If you guys haven't ever worked with uh, alcohol markers you really have to try them uh, it's such a pleasure working with them they are super easy to blend it's almost like working with watercolors but it's gonna be easier and the colors are so vivid and so like vibrant it's just amazing I, I love them um, the like the only thing that I uh, believe is a uh, like such a pity concerning these materials is that they are extremely expensive. Um, especially Copic markers, uh, which are like the best. You have to admit that they are super amazing, but they are very expensive. They cost about $7 each. And um, what I like to do personally is that um, I'll you know, I'll buy one or two, sometimes even three markers uh, every single month. And that way you can slowly begin to build your own collection. And, um, you know, that way you won't be spending lots of money. Um, yeah, I'm also using my uh, white gouache. Uh, which I like to use all the time when I'm using my alcohol markers because it's very useful to, you know, uh, do some highlights and when you're like trying to paint clouds as you can see me um, doing clouds here in uh, this video it's extremely, uh, extremely useful because like you can see my clouds were very blocky at first they were like so, um, I don't know, like they you know look like clouds I guess and I wanted them to be more random and you know like real uh, realistic I guess so that's why I'm using the white gouache um, I really suggest it um, I had some troubles with my video camera when I was recording because I uh, I was like drawing and I didn't realize that my memory card was full and I had to change it and when I changed it uh, and I began recording uh, recording again um, uh, like I was working on the on Chirrut's coat and the whole coat was done and then I was doing the flesh tones and 
I didn't record that either. I don't know why, what happened. I don't know. It was like uh, a little problem with my camera, which is a shame. I'll try to fix that for my next videos. But yeah, that's the problem when the problem when you're working with te uh, technology. Um, yeah, so it wasn't cool. But yeah, this is my fun art, and I hope you guys like it. If you uh, appreciate what I'm doing, if you like my content, please do subscribe and leave me some nice uh, comments. They don't have to be nice, but you know, leave me some comments and some likes. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and see you next week. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.